Good morning, science learners! Welcome to another science learning episode for quarter 3, week For today's lesson, you will find out how heat transfer in solid materials through liquid and gas. At the end of this learning video, you are expected to describe how light, sound, and heat travel. Specifically, describe how heat is transferred. But before we begin, Please be ready with your notebook, ball pen, and take note of the important concepts of our today's lesson. Have you been to cold places like Baguio or Tagaytay? Why do you usually rub your hands together when you feel cold? Or hold a cup of coffee to make your hands warm yes that is to keep yourself warm heat is a form of energy associated with the motion of particles and capable of being transmitted through solid and liquid the heat is thermal energy that flows from the warmer areas to the cooler areas for example a burning charcoal in a pan with water. The charcoal will transfer heat to the water. Another, when you feel cold, you wear a coat or a jacket. Or even take hot soup to keep you warm. Your coat or jacket slow down the flow of thermal energy in your body. Heat is very important in our daily life. We use the heat in cooking, heating the water, and drying wash clothes. Look around you. Can you identify objects that produce heat? Well, let us see if you can identify objects that produce heat by answering this with review are you all ready direction put a star on the object that produces heat and heart if not you may write your answer below this video number one candle number two shoes Number three, flat iron. Number four, bag. And number five, fire. After knowing the sources of heat, this time let us describe how heat is transferred by performing the following activities. For activity number one, we are going to describe how heat transferred in solid materials. Pour hot water to the mat. Then, carefully put the metal spoon into the mat. Let us observe what happened after 5 minutes. I carefully touched the exposed end of the spoon and the outside surface of the mat. Let us answer the following guide questions. For 5 minutes, what happened to the exposed end of the spoon? The cold end of the spoon became hot. Number two, what did you observe about the outside surface of the mug when you touched it? The surface of the mug felt 
hot too. The cold end of the metal spoon got heated after the other end was submerged into the hot water. This shows that the heat from the hot water transferred to the submerged end of the metal spoon, then traveled to the other exposed end. This is an example of heat transfer by conduction. The transfer of heat in solid materials is called conduction. Conduction is the heat transfer through a substance or from a substance to another by direct contact. Everything is made up of small particles. When the particles are moving faster, there is more energy and the temperature is higher. As fast-moving particles touch slow-moving particles, the energy is transferred. This causes slower particles to speed up and the faster particles to slow down. There are materials that allow heat to flow through easily. We call them conductors. Metals are good conductors. That's why we use them as cooking utensils because heat moves pass through the metal pan to the food. There are materials through which heat passes slowly or not at all. We call these insulators. Some good insulators are wood, plastic, and ceramic. Our next activity, we will describe how does heat travel through liquid materials. Here are the procedure. Put water in a casserole. Put the casserole with water on the stove. Observe the temperature of the water every minute while the water is being heated. Do this for about 5 minutes. When the water starts to boil, observe the movement of the water molecules in the casserole. Here are the guided questions. After 3 minutes, what happened to the temperature of the water? Number 2. What did you observe about the movement of the water molecules in the casserole? As the water at the bottom of the casserole gets heated, the temperature rises. The heat coming from the water at the bottom of the casserole was passed on the rest of the water in the container. The random motion of the water molecules illustrate that heat is being transferred. Heat travels in air and water by convection. When liquid or gas is heated, the molecules of the heated part move faster and away from each other. Warm liquid rises and cool liquid sinks. This movement continues until the liquid is evenly heated. This method of heat transfer is called convection. This is also true with wind and breezes. Warm air rises, expands, and cools. Cool air sinks. Convection is the reason why we have wind movements and local breezes. During daytime, air over the land is heated. It rises and expands. Cool air over the sea moves toward the, the land. That's why you feel a refreshing breeze by the seaside during daytime. Our last activity, we will describe how the heat travels through the air. Here are the procedures. Get some portion of the margarine and put it on a small plate. Place the plate under the sand. Here are the guided questions. What did you observe about the margarine after it was placed under the sand? What do you think made the change on the margarine? What do you think will happen to the margarine if it is continued to expose under the sand for a long time? The margarine on the plate melt after it was exposed to the heat of the sand. There was no physical contact but the margarine is heated by the sand because heat has the ability to travel in empty space or vacuum. Heat
eat from the sun reaches the earth by traveling across billions of kilometers of empty space. Radiant energy from the sun makes the life possible on earth. Heat can also be transmitted across empty space or vacuum. This is called radiation. Radiation does not depend on the presence of matter to transfer heat. The heat we receive from the sun is radiant energy. Radiant energy travels as a wave through space. Heat waves heat earth and cause warming. Our atmosphere traps the warmth. Your house gets warm when the sun's wave or rays travel through a window and are trapped in your house. Heat waves are invisible. All warm objects radiate or give off heat waves. Some other examples of heat transfer by radiation are the heat you feel when you are near a fire source, the heat given off by an electric heater, and the heat near a hot oven. Here are the important concepts of our today's lesson. Heat is very important to us. The sun is the ultimate source of heat produced by a nuclear reaction. Another source of heat is burning fuels. Fuel is a substance that is combustible and produces heat when it is burned. Heat is the transfer of energy from one object to another or from an energy source to an object. The heat transfer can occur in three ways, conduction, convection, and radiation. After knowing the three ways on how heat transferred, let us answer the following activities. Are you all ready? Let's begin!